When wading through a snake-filled jungle bog, remember these rules. Always bring a brave lookout. I'm not coming down there. That bog is filled with snakes. Always bring a king of the jungle. And never, ever pick up a plant. Huh. I wonder what plant this is. Unless you're sure it's really a plant. Anaconda! Where? George! The anaconda has George in a knot. Ooh, a dragonfly knot. That's hard. Hang on! What to do when attacked by blood-sucking radishes? No! Toenail chewing begonias. No! Carnivorous jungle orchid. That's the one! <gasps> oh, here it is. Apply a feather like pressure to its underside. <gasps> Tickle its tummy. <laughs> Everyone okay? I smell cake. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. This is for Ape. Yeah. It's my way of saying thank you to Ape. George says thank you to say thank you. Try that. George, it's a token of my appreciation. Mmm, I'll save your life anytime. <laughs> George, you put termites on my cake. George wants to thank Ape for saving him, too. Mmm, termites on top. <gasps> Okay, that's why I don't bake more often. Ape, I still owe you a thank you. Uh, but not as much as George. <laughs> thank you! Uh, George! George, don't thank you my thank you. This is my thank you. Thank you. Rock-a-bye, private! Yeah. Ooh, my turn! <laughs> uh. Now, Ape can count sheep. George, it's not a contest. I'll just go get Ape something else. Listen, bananas! Quit moving, or I'll squash you into a smoothie with my bare hands. Hey! Let go! I want to give these bananas to Ape! Oh, well, remember to say thank you from George. Oh, look! A giant spider! What? Yeah! Oh. George saw no giant spider. Five years gymnastics. Ho! One year little league outfielder and one free introductory class in hip hop. Ursula, look out! Giant spider. Ha ha! Nice try. <laughs> Magnolia, I need a favor. Oh, <gasps> you want me to French braid your hair? No. I'm trying to get a really cool thank you present for Ape, but I don't want George to find out. When he comes here, don't let him follow me or tell him where I went, okay? Ooh, acting! You can count on me! <laughs> Why, hello, George. You look thirsty. Can I pour you some lemonade for the next three hours? Uh, where's Ursula? Ursula who? Hmm. Ursula went. Oh, oh all right. Uh, well, mm. <laughs> <laughs> here, yeah? is your very own leopard kitty. Here, Ape, your very. 
very own leopard mommy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You flowers. Thank you. Hey, George got you a new feather pillow. Thank you. Feathers. Flowers. <laughs> My allergies. Witch doctor, I need your help to hide me from George and Ursula. No problem. <laughs> My bill. That's no way to hide an ape. <laughs> there! Say, that's a nice lamp. I should put you in my office. Not what I had in mind. Maybe my ancient invisibility potion will do the trick. Invisibility potion? There's no such thing, you quack! Well, then what do you call this, you know-it-all? <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, now look what you've done! <laughs> Typical. Hey, where are you? <laughs> Magnolia, you've got to save me from George and Ursula. I was just asking my diary what's gotten into those two. Well, it started with one of them thanking me. I deserve that one. But then the other one thanked me. Then the other one, and now everybody's thanking me. Everybody? Sounds trendy. I'm in. What? What? No, no, not you two, please. Thank you for being my Can't friends save each other's lives without killing each other? Oh, absolutely. Sure, I think so. Yes, yes. <sighs> Good. Finally, some peace. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at me! <laughs> nice grab, Magnolia. Way to go! Oh, thanks, guys! <laughs> Like a curse. What, saying thank you? Ah! Wow, did that happen just because George said thank you? Ah! Now, don't worry, we're safe. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Thank you, Mother Nature. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we'll get out of this. Just don't say those two words. Or else that giant spider might eat us. <laughs> Hi, you big guy. We sure were lucky your web caught us. We could have hurt ourselves. And for that, I'd like to say... <gasps> Don't do it! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you! Daddy? What? You've never seen invisible doctors flying a lawn chair? Uh, no, I, no. I can't say I have to go. And so, 
Our fearless hero flexed his fabulous flyboy muscles and flew his friends back to Pivot Pie Patient. Uh, civilization. What? No thank you? Feet. But that does not halt him from his hyperhuman heroic hijinks. Another great one, George. You have to teach me how to do that. What is it, George? What do you hear? Hmm, it's something George doesn't hear. Uh-huh, yep, okay, sure. Not that one. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Hiya. I'm George. You know, of the jungle. So, you're a sloth, eh? How's that going for you? I hope all that cheering for George's bravery in the face of danger didn't bother you. <laughs> See, the thing is, George loves all animals. And all animals love George. Nothing. Something must be wrong. George will take you to see the doctor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoops. I say. Well, what is it, witch doctor? What is it, Ursula's dad? Hey, get your own office. I'm poking for evil spirits here. Witch doctors. <laughs> There's no such thing as evil spirits. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? I am listening to his heartbeat. Ha! Scientist! There's no such thing as a heartbeat. Your sloth obviously needs demon extracting power. <laughs> Demons usually play something jazzier. Now let's try some real medicine. My new invigoration serum, fortified with real plant extracts. Bone realigning dust. Anti wrinkle cream. Percolate that potion. With Bob added. Now see what all your nutty hokey pokus does? Hokey pokus? I'll hokey pokus you right into Volcano Mountain, the really hot part. Wait! Why doesn't Sloth clap for George? Maybe, Maybe he just, just doesn't, doesn't like you. you. I, I was, was gonna, gonna say that. that. <laughs> Not like George? <laughs> What is it, George? Sloth doesn't like George, the only animal in the jungle that doesn't like George. Well, just forget about him then. Okay, yeah, good. I'll forget about Sloth. Starting now. Oh. Hi! Hi, George. Well, did you forget Sloth? No. And you are... Operation Make Sloth Like George is a go. Sloth will never even know we're here. Really think we can help George like this? Testing. 
Testing. Testing one, two, three. Alpha Beta Cameroon. Pretty Lady calling Jungle King. Hey! I want to be Pretty Lady. Jungle King, come in. Okay, start with a handshake. Hey, neighbor, put her there. Oh. Remind him about how you saved the baby owls. So, George sure saved those baby owls, huh? Tell him his hair is pretty. George's not gonna say that. Give me something else, quick. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Bad giraffe, too. Oh, I'll try that. Bad giraffe. No, George, be honest with your feelings. Uh, good giraffe? No, give him a present. Feelings. Present. Feelings. Present. Feelings. He needs a present. Time for George and Sloth to have quiet talk all by themselves. Okay, too quiet. I'll start. Nice day out. You know what? Now I'm getting mad. This king of the jungle has had it with you, mister. We are through. Done. D-U-N-G done. Phew. Wow. Glad we worked that out. Now Sloth and George can just be Sloth and George. Hug time! BFs forever. know how to say this, but I think we need some time apart. Whew, that was hard. Oh, it's not forever. George promises. Oh, don't make sad face. You're breaking George's heart. I'm just gonna walk away and not look back, okay? George will come back soon. Oh! Oh, uh, start again. Hey, George. Oh, hey, other best friends. How's it going with Sloth? He wants to do everything together. I'm like, whoa, Sloth. <laughs> Too much. Really, George? Uh, sorta. Wanna play? You betcha. George has to take his mind off of Sloth and all the fun things we did. Running with Sloth and eating with Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> laughing and, and singing with Sloth. <laughs> Clog dancing. Oh, the dance. George, if you're that obsessed with Sloth, why don't you just hang out with him? Ha! Obsessed? You're right! Sloth ever! Oh. Slothy, I'm coming! <laughs> there you are! George is back! Oh no! Stampede coming! Sloth buddy, listen to George! Don't panic, okay? Just stay very still! That's good! Nobody messes with Sloth! Okay, new plan. Is Sloth okay? Oh! Hey, stop! <laughs> Why does Sloth hate George so much? Why, 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 why? <laughs> Yay, George. Way to save those 
baby owls. But George saved baby owls days ago. Hello. I am a sloth. He likes me. He likes me. <laughs> When you live in the jungle, you must always be prepared. Be prepared to get really bored. Ooh, interception. Again. You show up at a party wearing the same dress as the hostess. Do you A, tell her she looks fat in it, B, throw salsa on her, or C, convince everybody else at the party she smells like a badger? Hmm. Those magazine quizzes will rot your brain. I'm bored. Oh, oh, oh. George and April more bored. It's a natural fact that guys get more bored than girls. Girls get bored, too. Sure, but girls can braid their hair all day and be happy. Hey, true. Oh, Magnolia! <laughs> Woohoo! Someone's in trouble, finally! <laughs> Last one there's a hairy monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, can I break your hair? <laughs> Show extreme lame brains where they do the really dangerous stunts. Guilty as charged. I'm Rip Hoot. <laughs> and this is my little bro, Trip Hoot. <laughs> hoot Hoot, girl. <laughs> what kind of stunts do you boys do? Incredibly stupid ones. In case anyone wondered, I found the shallow spot. Extreme! Trip, get a shot of this! We're here in the jungle where this man-eating gorilla has just been attacked by man-eating snakes! That's just a little garden snake. <laughs> Who dares me to swallow this in one gulp? Huh? Huh? Oh, I do! I dare you! <laughs> it's in my pants! <laughs> Get it out! <laughs> Hey, hey, you want to see something extreme? Uh, check this out. Wow. George, why would you do something so lame-brained? Well, they thought it was cool. Oh, plus I, I found a wristwatch. That is truly lame-brained. Yeah, George does this kind of stuff all the time. 
Yeah, but he does it for a reason, not just to be cool. Ho oh, ho! We don't do extreme junk because it's cool. Even though it is. We do it so we can tell everyone we did it on TV! What is it with boys and bragging? Natural male behavior. George can take on any dare you can dish out. Boys. Just because you girls can't be as extreme as a guy. Hey! I can certainly be an extreme lame brain if then I won't. You boys go do your stupid stunts. See if we care. <laughs> George is gonna show you something so lame brain, I can't even believe I'm gonna watch. What is it? Bobby for piranhas? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, can we try that again? I left the lens cap on my camera. Uh, uh sure. <laughs> 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 These jungle chili peppers are so hot, they burn anything they touch. <laughs> but we dared this jungle man to... <laughs> this film is gonna make us rich. <laughs> Lamos don't give a hoot about George and Ape. I'm afraid they're gonna get the guys hurt. We're dressed up like crocodiles, and they are the Lamos. This dare is something nobody's ever done on video before. Lava surfing! <laughs> the four of us are gonna jump our surfboards down to the first rim, then ride down to the waves of molten rock! <laughs> Uh, isn't this a little too extreme? Yeah, maybe for this one, George will dare you to go. Uh, hoot hoot. Yeah, hoot hoot. Sure, we would make you do something we were too chicken to do ourselves. <laughs> See you down there. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, well, well, what? I'm not jumping into a volcano. Come on, I dare you. I double, triple dare you. Last one in's a hairy monkey. <laughs> Whoa! You guys are bigger lame brains than I thought. Hey! You didn't do the dare! Oh, hoot hoot. <laughs> Looks like you'll have to lava surf now! George, I'm running out of board! of Tookie Tookie as a second language at summer school. Hang on! I want to get really close on their faces! Extremely scared! <laughs> I'm so scared, I think I wet your pants! Save us! Help us! Oh! 
Oh no! Ah! Thanks for the killer video! <laughs> Magnolia, get the parachute out of my backpack. Okay, on three. One. Thanks, Ursula. Thanks, Magnolia. <sighs> Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. Uh-huh. I'm bored. Yep. To survive in the jungle, you must be able to take the intense heat. <laughs> Only a brave few are able to withstand the smoke, <laughs> the fire. <laughs> <laughs> From the 75 candles on old Grouch Mouse birthday cake. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Maybe old, but I still got it, and I'm gonna prove it. George, I need to talk to you. Rather, lots of people need to talk to you. Yeah. 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 He washed the pink right off my feathers. He made me get water up my nose. He made me pull his finger. He made me wet my bed. Well, somebody put my hand in that glass of warm water. Okay, okay, don't worry about a thing. George will just sit old Grouch Mouth down and have a little talk with him. Come on, just sit down. George, what? Talk to you. Gotcha. Oh, can't catch me. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 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 Georgie still got it. What do you mean? Well, I couldn't stop old Grouch Mouth. Now everyone thinks George has lost his touch. <laughs> See? I don't get respect anymore. Look, he's been at this a lot longer than you. You're just gonna have to fight him using your head. I already tried that. I got a headache. Old Grouch Mouth is at it again, eh? <laughs> In the old days, he pulled pranks on everyone. And he would have kept it up, too, if it hadn't been for one human. 
the mighty Burbank. He was the only one able to put a stop to Grouch Mount's practical joke rampage. Hoopty hoo! And no one could conquer Burbank except his beloved Mighty Mary. Quit goofing around! Hey, ape! George the thought of a way that he could use his, uh, what do you call this again? My head. Yeah, 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 ape's head! There he is! Uh, Mr. Mighty? <laughs> George hoped you might stop old Grouch Mouse from pulling pranks on everyone. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, can you give me a boost? Yeah. Gentlemen, returning after being away for 20, uh, 100 years, the mighty Burbank! <laughs> and the cat, who's been causing you all so much trouble, let's have a big boo for old Grouch Mouse! <laughs> Old Grouch Mouth, Burbank. <laughs> what do you say we show these whiners how it's done? <laughs> Looks like the king of the jungle got in over his head. <laughs> You know what's over his head? His underwear! <laughs> <laughs> so, you want in on the fun, eh? Uh -oh. <laughs> we still got it! <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! All right, you guys. Uh, we're kind of busy, kid. George wants you out of the jungle. Nobody wants you guys around here anymore. Got it? Oh, George, maybe you shouldn't be quite that hard on them. I mean... <gasps> you crotchety, skin-sagging meanie! <laughs> oh, why did George ever use his, uh, what's it called? Don't worry, I've got an idea. <laughs> uh, why did Ursula take us here? You remember how there was only one person who could tame old Grouchmouth? Yeah. 
stupid mighty Burbank. <laughs> well, there's one person who can tame the mighty Burbank, and here she is. Meet Mighty Mary. All right, where are they? <laughs> Quick, go run around. Sorry for missing aqua aerobics, sweetums. Well, you should be. Now, come on. We got shuffleboard in 20 minutes. Ugh. Oh, uh, Burbank almost forgot. Old Grouch Mouth is going to come stay with us? Uh, well, you better get him dry clean first. Ah, uh, come here, you big furball. Hey, you furball, I want the aisle seat. Now Jungle will be normal again. George can finally relax. <laughs> we still got it! <laughs> of the many terrors in the jungle, one is so horrible, oh. it makes kings of the jungle weak knee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> jungle cleanup day! Huh, the animals in this place are pigs! George, pigs are usually very tidy. Just not during the playoffs. Hmm. Weird shaped fruit. Hmm. Ow! Not fruit. A seashell. What's a seashell? Seashells are things people collect for some reason. If you hold a seashell up to your ear, you hear the ocean. Hey, buddy, put me in your pocket nice and easy and act like nothing's wrong. It's talking to me! Yes, it's the sound of the ocean. Pretty neat, huh? I said, put me in your pocket. <laughs> Habitat for two manatees is such a good cause. Where shall we have them put the bathroom? How about right here? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What does Ocean want? Oh, really? <clears throat> George spent all morning holding that shell to his ear. <clears throat> Where did he find a shell around here anyway? <clears throat> it was just lying on the ground. I told him if he listened to it, he'd hear the ocean. George has never been to the ocean, but now, thanks to that shell, he knows what it sounds like. Then you're gonna call me a small, very comfy couch. Comfy couch? With a footrest and a maple dresser and a tiny hammock of the finest silk. And you know what happens if you don't. <clears throat> George's head will fall off. Right, and don't forget it. George! Uh, can I help you? We were wondering if you were gonna help us lift these rocks. <clears throat> oh, just a sec. Yeah, mm-hmm, uh-huh. No, uh-huh, okay. Only silk George could find was an Ursula's scarf. Can't take that. Oop, George going through a tunnel. I might lose you. Ah! Yeah, uh -huh, sure. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, George, uh, you must really like the sound of ocean waves. Not waves. Ocean talks to George. Listen. Whoosh. 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 See? Get 120 feet of wood, 15 foot of rope, a brown bag lunch, and a root beer with a lid on it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Ape, do you have some paper? I have to write this stuff down. Oh, really? I can do that. George! This rock's telling you to build my kid a tree fort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, and this piece of bark's talking to me. Wait, it says, make me a three-masted schooner out of Brazil nuts. <laughs> Great. Mocking turtle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh! Hey, Ape forgot to set place for ocean. Uh huh. Okay. George, could you pass the potatoes? <laughs> His hearing seems fine. Right. Ah, no problem, Gravy. Have you taken any bite force lately, George? 
Nope. Just crashed into lots of trees like normal. Eat quick. George has lots of stuff to make and build and sew and finish. Oh, I think my spoon may be dirty. George, what do you think? Yeah, uh, looks pretty clean from here. But George has been very, very busy. I uh, might not be seeing straight. What George needs is a quick ear cleaning. What he needs is the ancient wheel of snake teeth and pigeon feathers. <laughs> Three out of five witch doctors recommend it. Get away from him, you primitive shaman! Please, don't squeeze the shaman! <laughs> hey, hey! Come on, let's go, go, go! <laughs> George followed all Ocean's instructions. Uh, what you want with this big springy thingy anyway? No questions! Now double check the coordinates and pull the lever. Hey, you've got earrings just like Magnolia and a scarf just like Ursula. Uh, must be a fan. Everybody's got the same look. Pull the lever! But, uh, what about George's head? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, just keep it out of the sun and use conditioner. Your head will be fine. Yeah! Hmm. George, have you seen my earrings? Or my scarf? Oh, somebody took them! No, uh, but when Ocean left, he had some just like them. A seashell had earrings? And you're saying the ocean left? That's why George had to make Ocean the springy thingy. Did, did, did my head fall off? George, we'd love to believe a seashell told you to build a catapult, but... Do you think George is... <gasps> lying? Oh, well, not lying, lying. No, George, just lying, lying. But for a good reason, <laughs> probably. George is not a liar! <laughs> <laughs> Have to find Ocean. Make it tell friends that George isn't lying. George! So, this hawk flies me away from here and drops me in the jungle. The jungle! Wow. Luckily, I find this knucklehead who I can get to make me this deluxe furniture. I I do love this couch. Thanks, Wobble Eyes. Ocean! Uh oh. Go! Oh, ocean! 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 Great. So, in order to find George, we're going to climb into this contraption and fling ourselves to who knows where? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Let's get this over with. Hello? Hello? Ocean? Hey, George! <laughs> Glad you can make it. Oh, Ocean, friends think George is a liar. I have to take Ocean back to show them I'm not. Whoa, big guy. No more travel for me. Look, if everyone makes fun of you, why go back? Stay here. You can get me some berries and spiders. It'll be fun. But my friends. Hey, you don't want your head to fall off, do ya? <laughs> the fairies and spiders coming up. I can't see. We're at a beach. It's covered with crabs. You know how Mike and Betty Oyster always wanted to adopt? Ah, Magnolia, your pearl earrings. Where? Where? All right, who ordered grapes? Who had the spiders? <laughs> and who ordered the sea scum smoothie? Hurry it up, Stretch. Are you gonna build a small furniture or aren't you? And sweep up this sand, huh? And hang up a sunshade, huh? <gasps> I don't believe it. Conniving crabs? George was telling the truth the whole time. That's embarrassing. Ape, get us over there now! 
Look, Ocean, George has done many things for you, and even though I don't want my head to fall off, you gotta come back with me and tell my friends that I was telling the truth. No, I ain't going nowhere with you. Grab the tech! <laughs> You're not so tough now, huh? Leave him alone. <gasps> Attacking tree. The jungle is angry. You must return, George. With my earrings and the scarf. With the earrings and the scarf. <gasps> These trees walk pretty good. Look, tree. We're just simple crabs with some nice furniture. What do you want from us? When are you gonna tell George that it's us in here? When we're a little closer to home. Mush! Or your heads will fall off! Oh, Daddy, oh, Bailey, oh, Claudia, oh, Vixen, oh, Shelly, oh, Charlie, no one is Jungle is a place of mystery with unanswered questions that bog the mind. How does he do that? How do they eat that? <laughs> what is that smell? And is he talking to a volcano? How can you be bored? You're a volcano. Me? Why is this my problem? You what? It boggles the mind. I'm afraid his mind is already boggled. More ink! Oh! about you, Daddy? Don't worry about me. Worry about the volcano. He is not well. <laughs> now everyone will believe me when I say you are a loopy chuckle brain. <laughs> ah, you missed. And only got ten points. <laughs> Laugh all you want. The volcano is bored. <laughs> In fact, just for fun, he's thinking of covering us all with lava and starting over. Volcanoes do not talk. They do not get bored. They do not have feelings. Unless we can find a way to cheer him up, he will explode. Hmm. Oh, and George could tell him some jokes. Maybe do some magic. Observe. <laughs> George, I want you to gather together everyone in the jungle. What are we gonna do, Daddy? We are gonna put on a show. <laughs> Loopy chuckle brain. Ow! <laughs> <sighs> now this you don't see in the city. Mankind and animals working together, putting on a show to make a mountain happy. <laughs> Charles, you must go now. No, stay. Go. Wait. Stay. Uh, why is Magnolia telling that tree to leave? <laughs> Tree, leave! <laughs> She's acting, George. It's where you change the way you talk and move. And become a whole different person. <laughs> ah! What did you do with me? Come back to me! George! He's acting! Hey! Oh, good acting. But I still think we should try telling the volcano some jokes. Polly, you want a cracker. I want a cracker. Let's 
run off together and have a cracker. Next! Uh, shouldn't we be just a little nicer? Okay. Can you guess who this is? Oh, do not wake me when I'm sleeping, or I become a horrible, horrible monster! <laughs> it's Ursula. Next! I just love bananas of above. We must be bananas to fall in love. <laughs> yeah! Cookie! Volcanoes and gentlemen! Next! What's big? Next! Ugly? Next! Use lava! Thank you! And, and where's the pink dress? A volcano in a pink dress! <laughs> Don't call us! We'll call you! They're gonna call me! Magnolia, that is so great you got the lead part of the Volcano Princess. Do you think I got it because I'm the only one that fits the dress? Sure. Being the director's daughter had nothing to do with it. Must be some mistake. George not seeing George's name on the cast list. <laughs> George, there isn't a part for you. But one of the main characters is the king of the jungle. We cast that already. Oh, you gotta let George be in Volcano Pageant. George, I had to pick who I thought could save the jungle best. Nobody saves the jungle better than George. Can't I do something? No. Aha! Hey, I can even be guard number six. How about it? Hey. <laughs> Oh, oh, would he? Well, all right. No! Creatures of the jungle, do you not tremble at my scariness? <laughs> George! Mm, George! Polly <laughs> wants a stretcher. Oh, oh, would he? <laughs> Do you dare to challenge me to a fight? Darts! <laughs> we got something new for you to do in the volcano pageant. What is it? Sit in the audience. <gasps> and play the part of the guard in the audience? Uh, yeah. Yay! Oh. <laughs> the show's about to start. Shouldn't you be all sitting in the front row? I'm too nervous. What if George forgets not to say one of his lines he doesn't have? Oh, you'll be fine. Right. Uh, good luck, everyone. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Good thing Swole and Ivy there to break your fall. What? <laughs> we have to cancel the show. We can't cancel the show. Well, I can't go out there like this. Ursula, you'll have to play the princess. I don't know the lines. Oh, George sat through all the rehearsals. George knows the princess's lines. You do? So, can George be Volcano Princess? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you want the red wig or the blonde one? Greetings, gentle jungle creatures! It is I, the beautiful Volcano Princess, here to, <clears throat> here to dance for you! This is embarrassing. <laughs> the volcano is not entertained! Well, what do you want? You want it scarier, funnier? Just tell me. Tell me what you want already. You've got to be kidding. This is 
is too dangerous. George can handle this. I just can't believe he looks better than me in that dress. Okay, George, uh, go for it. Uh, oh, mighty and powerful volcano. Oh, we're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> It's working. Oh, uh, well, where do you think that's funny? Listen to this. Why did the villagers wear red running shoes to run away from the lava? <laughs> hey, hey, that joke is hot, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's this? I'm bored. Arr, I'm going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Whoa, whoa. George! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you get when you cross molten rock with an iceberg? <laughs> Good one! <laughs> How much longer is this gonna go on? Until the volcano says to stop. Oh, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Uh, did you hear the one about the pig who didn't want to build his own house? Uh, so, so he hired a boa constructor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 got one. Okay, knock, knock. <laughs> 